you booked your next vacation on the web, Call Curtis learns what you see may not always be what you get. And he is investigating now hotel photo fakeouts. And we've all seen the pictures, breathtaking views, posh pools. It's what you see on the hotel's website. But sometimes when you get there, it's another story. You realize you are the victim of a photo fakeout. It was just a big shock. It was a lot different than the website. Laura Ambry is expected she'd get the finest modern amenities with old world elegance at the historic Mayfair Hotel in the heart of Los Angeles. After all, that's what it says on their website. But instead of the promised charming historical hotel, it just felt really gross and dirty. So gross, she reached for her phone and started snapping photos. This is the room she saw online. And this is what she got. The beds didn't even have covers on them. They had like a piece of flowered sheet. Her photos show ripped up carpet, exposed electrical switches, and loaded up outlets. And check out the bathtub. She says it was just two and a half feet long. I've never seen anything like that before. And from her 12 story room, you can just open the window and just reach right out. No safety barriers, no safety screens, bars, nothing at all. We wanted to see for ourselves, so our camera went inside the Mayfair where we found damaged baseboards, ripped up wallpaper, and we came across this woman who just checked in on the 15th floor. She wasn't happy with what she saw. Oh my God, no screen at all. That's the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in my life. All too often you'd kind of look online, you'd research around, and then you'd actually arrive at the hotel that you chose and it wasn't exactly what you imagined. Ellie Seidman's travel company Oyster.com created something called the photo fake out. His team has traveled to 1500 hotels, snapping pictures of what you really get. This is a really funny one. This hotel showcases this photo on its website of its pool. This makes no sense, right? I mean, the guy is holding a surfboard in what looks like a pool, right? But then you pull out and it makes even less sense because it's actually a bathtub. What about the hotel with a beach you think you'll have to yourself? His team found it isn't quite so secluded. And the reality kind of wall to wall people. This Los Angeles hotel shows its pool under the Southern California sky. But in reality, if you pan left, you'll have a view of a department store. Downstairs on the street is one of the busiest streets in all of Los Angeles and you hear ambulances going by. This Washington DC hotel's photo would lead you to believe you're right next to the Capitol, but his team found you're not. And this hotel dresses up a room with a laptop, tea set, and fruit platter. And certainly does not have the fruits and the vegetables and the flowers and all the fancy uh, footwork. If you sell this, then deliver this. What is the problem with these hotels putting out the best photos they possibly can? You know, this is a product that you can't see before you buy, and you certainly can't return it. And it's got to be perfect. And when they exaggerate, they're basically taking that away from you. And he says there hasn't been much response from hotels because you can't argue with the photos. I think the best response is fix your hotel. And if the hotel gets fixed, you renovate it, you clean it up, you make it better, call us back, we'll come back and we take new photos and it'll look fantastic. If you're going to advertise that, you should be able to deliver it. After her experience vacationing in L.A., Laura now knows you can't always believe what you see. We're not rich people and we, you know, we wasted money there. Well, we reached out to the Mayfair in Los Angeles and they initially said they wanted to respond to our findings, but they never did and they would not return our phone calls. Mm. So for the rest of us, how can we know ahead of time? All right, this is what I do. Before I book a hotel, I go yes. to all these review websites like TripAdvisor. It's a good gauge because people who have stayed there actually post reviews of what they saw. And you know, you could do the same. If you have a disgusting experience at a hotel, mm -hmm. go into these websites, let people know your reviews and you could help somebody else from staying in a yeah. dump. It's a lot different than 15 <laughs> years ago, isn't it? I mean, just yeah. because of the virtue of the internet. So. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. You could really help out other travelers. Right. All right. All right I I want to know, have you been the victim of a photo fake out? I want to hear about it. You could share your story right now by going to the Call Curtis Facebook page. And if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You can call our hotline Monday through Friday, 916-374-1343. Or better yet, go to our website, cbssacramento.com. Click on Contact Curtis and fill out our form.